Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. Today I will show you how to set up a virtual machine with QEMU. And QEMU can also emulate a different processor. And originally I wanted to set up a virtual machine to see if I could boot a Android system on the Pinebook Pro. But for some reason, for me, it's easier to set up a virtual machine and emulate an Intel processor than it is to set up a virtual machine for ARM, which is the actual processor that is in the Pinebook Pro. So you need to install QEMU and libvirt and to make things easier also the virtual machine manager. So we'll just select all. And in your case, if it asks to install any additional stuff, just select them all and let it install. Transaction successfully finished. So this was the easy part. And when you go to system, there you see the virtual machine manager. And I was expecting it to tell me that the daemon isn't running, but I tried this before and then the machine crashed. So I tried to set up things new. So we'll just quit this one for now. And just to be sure, I'll try to see if I need to stop it. Because perhaps from the crash, something is still there. Who knows? And when we start it now, now it's not complaining. That is weird. So perhaps that crash did mess something up. Anyway, just to be sure, We'll start the daemon. Oh. So it should be running now. And I downloaded a minimal Windows XP version, Hiren's Boot CD, PE, and PE stands for pre-installation environment. And that is also the reason why you are allowed to distribute and download Windows XP as long as it's a PE version. So it's completely legal to download this. And of course, Microsoft is a company that otherwise would be very quick to act and take the website down. Now we'll try to set up 
a new virtual machine. No active connection to install on. Okay, that's weird. Mm, add connection. Okay. Ah, okay. So we just needed to add the connection just with the default values. And as you can see, it's saying did not find any UEFI, UEFI binary path for architecture ARM. So in this case, we'll just go for i686 so that's like the older intel processors like let's just say the pentium and we can choose the local install media because we have the iso image the boot cd so we can browse for No, browse local. So I'll go, and then we have Hiram's Wood City, the ISO. And well, you can explicitly state that you want to have Windows XP, but then you need to include end of life operating systems. So there it is. Uh, yes, we want to correct this now. Well, let's just say we'll give it like two gigabytes and we'll give it four cores. And just by making sure that there's still two cores available for Linux itself. And that way I make sure that the Windows XP virtual machine doesn't lock up the system. And because we have an ISO image, we don't necessarily need additional storage, uh, like emulating a hard disk. In other scenarios, you might want to do that, but in this case, this will be just a quick demo of the boot CD. And well, you can, you shouldn't need to customize anything before that. You can make a bridge so that the virtual machine also has access to the internet. Click finish. And well, everything should be fine with video. Yeah, you can also leave it like this. So we can say begin installation. Oh, that's, yeah, a silly thing. Um, it doesn't like the hyphen in the name. So when we make sure there's no hyphen there. Um, oops, we can cancel the installation and I'll try again. We can remove the hyphen, go for Windows XP again. No 
no additional storage. So we're going to go for the bridged internet connection. And here you see that it actually started. And because the screen recorder also takes away some CPU cycles, I'm going to stop this recording and I will get a camera and that way the Pinebook Pro has all the available CPU cycles and that it's not being slowed down, slowed down by the screen recorder. So I'm going to stop the screen recorder and I'll make another movie of how this actually runs because this is very heavy for the Pinebook Pro. See you in a bit.